Hey everyone, Matron here, bringing you another StarCraft II commentary, this time round 5 of the Losers Bracket from MLG Dallas 2011, featuring Liquid TLO spawning as the Blue Terran, and his opponent and teammate will be Liquid Tyler spawning as the Red Protoss. Tyler did do a little bit worse in group play than TLO, he went 1-3 and three in group play, TLO went 2-2, two and two. and the way MLG is set up, the better you do in group play, the better you are set up in the final tournament bracket, so Tyler actually had to beat Vibe in a round previous to this, and now moves on to face TLO. And again, we are in the loser's bracket, so if you lose, you're going home. If you win, you are moving on. And then the winner of the loser's bracket will face the winner of the winner's bracket. And those are all the top uh, pool players from pools A, B, C, and D. So we'll see which of these teammates is able to move on here. Our first game will be on MLG Scrap Station. And it looks like TLO creating that first supply depot behind his, uh, his mineral line there. And in this TVP matchup, it's pretty interesting. Neither player has to wall off or worry about that at all. So you can build most of your buildings uh, spread around your base. You can actually use your buildings to be a little bit defensive. You can build them around your mineral line and really try to deny access. You can use your buildings to scout even. As we see Tyler placing down his gateway close to the nexus here. And you can actually deny scouting if TLO is able to get a marine uh, and build a few of his buildings behind the, the mineral line or up in his base, he could deny any sort of scouting for Tyler. So we'll see what happens in this first game. Again, is a best of three. So Tyler getting his gas, pretty normal timing. Might be a tad bit early. And it looks like he is going to be placing a pylon here. And this is going to be trying to spot any sort of drop play. Obviously, he plays with TLO quite a bit as they are teammates practicing with each other, so he might know that TLO does favor drop play on the scrap station map. So placing that first pylon up here just so he can get that initial read if he sees those blue blips uh, heading his way through the air, he'll be able to react accordingly. And it looks like Tyler doing a decent job on that SCV, getting it down to 5 HP. So he might be able to take that down if he actually goes back in there, but it looks like instead this Marine is going to do a nice job of shooting and scooting, taking down that probe. So not too much information for Tyler at this point. I believe he did see that gas and he saw the one racks. He did not see any sort of add-on on that racks and it looks like TLO going for a factory at the moment. Tyler back in his base getting up his cybernetic score and that's up by this pylon as well as his second gas. So it could be going for some pretty heavy sentry play in the early going or it could tech fast as he does get up to second gas very quickly. And it looks like a sentry will be coming out. So Tiela doing his best, keeping this SCV alive as long as possible. One of the advantages of Terran in this matchup is that you can usually keep that SCV alive a lot more or a lot easier than you can keep that probe alive just because the Marine is able to shoot from range. It looks like Tiela got all the information he needed, didn't see any more gates going up, and Tyler coming out with an unusual number of units out of this first gate, so he may be teching here. It looks like he will be going for the robotics facility. This is a build that White Rod likes to do, getting out early observers, you're going to get a great look into your opponent's base. They won't want to waste a scan. They won't have any turrets up in the early going. So those uh, observers can be quite good, giving you all the information you may need to counter your, your opponent's build pretty perfectly. Looks like the first few Marines on the way out for TLO. They're doing a bit of jogging out on the map. Again, a very long rush distance by ground. We have a starport finishing, so the uh, 111 build Coming out for TLO here, he's producing a lot of units, whatever he can, off of these pr initial production structures. No add-ons at the moment, just Marines and Hellions coming out. So he may try to do a bit of Hellion harass, and it looks like a Medivac on the way. So we will be seeing some sort of drop play, and it's a good thing Tyler has all of his buildings positioned here correctly. He does have the Observer on the way, it's about 20 seconds out, and he's got a few gateways finishing, but again, these gateways are pretty late. He's stopped producing units out of this one gateway here. Checking on his warp gate tech, it looks like it is, has been completed. So he will have these warp gates up and running shortly. The medevac about to pop out, and it looks like the medevac will be taking seven marines and an SCV. So I wonder what it will be doing with this SCV. The observer not going to be seeing this medevac as it takes a wide route there. So Tyler not seeing that. The Hellions on their way from the southern portion. And Tyler's a nice spread here at the, at the ramp. He's going to be able to do some nice force fields and get those zealots into position to fight as soon as possible. But TLO coming in from behind. Tyler does see it, moving his units back behind here. And he's got a lot of Marines to deal with. The Marines are going to try to take down this one pylon that will sidecap Tyler. And it looks like a bunker going down. Tyler doing a nice job placing down these force fields, preventing those Hellions from coming in and taking down the workers. But it looks like focusing down all the units of Tyler, 
TLO has a huge force, and now Probe's having to be pulled off for Tyler here. And it looks like he's just trying to focus down as many units from Tyler as possible, focusing down another few uh, Zealots here. And again, those Hellions do bonus damage to light units with sentries and uh, stalk or uh, Zealots both are. The Stalker's coming in here, trying to focus down the last two Marines. The Marines are able to get inside that bunker, and the SCV's still here, repairing this bunker. And the Medevac actually doing a decent job uh, healing up that SCV. Some more Hellions coming in to do some harassment here. So TLO with a very strong position. He has a finished bunker. The Stalker's focusing down that Hellion. This Hellion with two kills right here. And it looks like this SCV, the Stalkers are not able to DPS through this Medevac healing the SCV. The two Marines in here are just going to town on all of these workers. If we check the workers lost, that is 16 workers killed for TLO so far. And it looks like uh, TLO finally losing that SCV after even picking it up in that Medevac to try to prevent the focus fire. And now the bunker will go down. The last two Marines will go down but let's check the units lost have 2,800 resources to 1,000. If we check the workers lost, it is 16 workers to just the one. So checking out income, it is 26 to 19 worker-wise, and it looks like Tyler's going to have to push out for some sort of all-in attack here. Back at home, Liquid TLO is getting up his command center. He's adding on a few more racks, all of the reactors uh, and tech labs. I'm not sure if adding those at this point is going to be a good idea or not, because it looks like Tyler pushing out with some aggression, bringing a probe forward perhaps to place down a pylon, but at this point uh, it is 36 to 46, and Tyler's way behind in terms of economy. We have another drop coming in here with Hellions, so if they're able to take down a few more probes, Tyler could be in trouble. So it looks like Tyler trying to run away here with all these probes, and it looks like the probes will be taken down, oh my god! So all those probes taken down, about, wow, 15 kills on the one Hellion, one on another, so 16 probes taken down there in short order, back in... TLO's base, it looks like he's having to pull off a number of SCVs to try to tank a little bit of damage for the few Marines that he does have. The Stalkers, uh, pretty beefy units compared to those Marines, but taking five shots to take down a Marine as the Stalker's doing bonus damage against the, the armored units, and Marines are pretty light there. And now the Marines moving forward, a Viking actually landing, helping here, doing 12 DPS on its own. And now Probe's coming over for Tyler, trying to do a bit of an all-in. The Zealot getting caught behind those Stalkers. And now TLO's got a decent army here. He can try to repel this. Focus down these units. Down goes one Zealot. We got another Stalker here very low, along with a Probe. And a few more Stalkers coming in. Tyler has no more mining going on. He's got no more Stalkers, no more units coming. Two Stalkers very low, trying to focus down low units for TLO. TLO doing his best to shoot and scoot and take down these remaining two Stalkers for Tyler. Just one Stalker left. I'm not sure Tyler's going to be able to come back with just that. He did kill Idra with a Probe in StarCraft 1, but I'm not sure that this Stalker is going to be able to do that sort of damage to TLO. And now uh, Tyler left without anything, having to give the GG, and a very exciting game there from TLO. A nice play with that bunker. He brought over the seven Marines and the SCV. At the same time, he had a few Hellions coming in, and they were able to make it up that ramp because he pulled the units away from that ramp with that drop. And then getting that bunker to finish, I can't believe Tyler did not focus down that SCV. And then eventually once it did finish, TLO doing a nice job with that medevac, repairing the SCV, and just not enough firepower for Tyler to take it down. The two marines in there getting a ton of probe kills, and so many probes went down. Tyler had to push out and go for some sort of all-in, just didn't have enough units. TLO's production kicked in at right th or just at the right time, came out with Marines and Hellions, was able to fend it off and take this game one in a battle of Team Liquid. We'll move on to game two now. Thanks for watching this one. Take care.